Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, if you are using Microsoft Edge as your main browser, what Mic Microsoft did in the latest update uh, that we talked about, which is available if you haven't done it yet by going to the upper right corner, help and feedback and about Microsoft Edge. So on version 96, a new security feature has been added to edge quietly and it's what they call the super duper secure mode and this adds more security so it prevents you and actually helps you when you actually go to websites you don't visit very often so this is really a security feature that adds more security on the websites you basically never visit or websites you visit for the first time um, a few months ago, Microsoft actually talked about this. It was implemented in the insider builds of Edge. And it uh, actually uh, kind of, uh, there's something called just-in-time compilation uh, in what is a processing of V8 uh, pipeline, which is a way of processing information. Let's just put it as simple as that that come from the web but it is known that this is also one of the ways that hackers have it easy in uh, security and flaws in actually exploiting the browsers so microsoft decided to do something else and called it the uh, super duper secure mode what it does is it kind of logs down this uh, just in time and um, it actually enables a, uh, a thing called the control flow enforcement technology from Intel. It's hardware based and it is a hardware based mitigation for exploits. So what happens is that it actually will be used when you turn this on in your browser. Now that also means that not everybody has access to this because now nah, if your PC is old you might not have the latest technologies required that are hardware based and in the processors themselves so if you want to toggle the super duper secure mode and hopefully be more secure here's how you do it you go into your edge browser go into the upper right corner into settings and the settings You'll go on the left side to Privacy, Search, and Services. Go down the page until you see Enable Security Mitigations for a More Secure Browser Experience. And it says turn on this mode to browse the web more securely and help protect your browser from malware. Choose the level of security you need. By default, it's off. You turn it on and you have Balanced or Strict. I recommend balance because it has the least effect on the websites you'll visit. Strict can block a lot of stuff and make break websites basically. And so once you have that enabled, most websites should still work fine, but you are in a more secure mode. If you have a website that is broken, you can actually add exceptions. You click the exceptions and you add the website where you want this not to work. So that website will not follow the rules of more security and will work if it's broken. But like they say, most websites should work as expected, but at least you can add exceptions to the rules. So I'll turn it on. I'll leave it on on my main Edge browser and we'll see how it goes. If I have any comments or suggestions or if I observe any weirdness in the websites I visit, I'll let you guys know. But it's a great way to... Uh, have more security using Microsoft Edge. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.